So the moment you suspect that this patient has congestive heart failure, what is your next best step? You want to get a BNP. Now, when you get a BNP, is a BNP going to tell you the patient's got CHF? Not necessarily. BNP can be elevated. Yes, classically it's elevated because you're fluid overloaded. But it can be falsely elevated sometimes. It can be falsely low sometimes. So BNP is a very good surrogate marker. It's not going to be diagnostic by any means, right? So what is the appropriate answer? Because the moment you suspect congestive heart failure, you want to prove it, right, objectively. So what test are you going to order? You want to get an echocardiogram, right? Good. So you get an echocardiogram. And what are we looking for in the echo? Ejection fraction. Because the moment you get an echocardiogram, what we are interested in is an ejection fraction. And what is a normal EF? 50%. It's 50 to 55, but let's just keep it at 50 as a good baseline. <laughs> if the ejection fraction is below 50, what are we going to call that? We're going to call it mildly, mildly reduced. <laughs> it's going to be called mildly reduced ejection fraction. And that is up to 40.